All right, welcome to Photoshop. And today we're gonna to be going over the art history brush. So many people probably have no idea what this thing does, but there's actually two brushes in here. So we've got the history brush and the art history brush. So before we actually use the history brush, we're gonna start off with the art history brush. And so the art history brush needs a source. And so over here in our layers, our background layer that we have is going to be the source that the history brush is going to use. And then up here we have a variety of styles. So you'll see we have tight and short, tight and medium, tight and long, loose medium, and so on. And so these are the types of brushes that the history brush will use. So you have area, your area in which this kind of will cover, tolerance, and your brush size are all going to make a difference when using the history brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and just create a new layer here so we can do this on top of this layer. So you'll see right now I'm on tight and short and I'll kind of make this brush a little bit bigger and I'll paint over this and you can see it uses sort of a art or a painting brush to change the way this image looks. Now I'm not actually doing it on the background layer. You can see this is just its own layer. Now this is too much so I'm going to Command Z and get out of this and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change to tight and medium. So I'm going to do tight and medium and it's doing it still too abstract for me so I'm going to Command Z that. Now I'm going to make my brush smaller and as I make it smaller it's making a more fine selection or more fine painting as far as this goes. And you can kind of come in here, we can do tight and long. That's gonna give you a certain type of stroke where it's a tight and long stroke. Then we have loose, medium, loose, long. And then these are really weird, so I'll do, we'll do uh, not tight curl, we'll do long. You can see it does this weird curl here. Something I would probably never actually use, but it's giving you that brush stroke if that's something you're in, interested in. So you can try out and kind of find out which brush stroke you like. You can control by changing your area, your tolerance, and your brush size are all going to make a difference when doing something here. Now we can see right here I kind of tried these brushes out, right, and we didn't like what was going on. So this is where the, the history brush comes into effect. So if I go to the history brush, once again it's going to be using this background to source from and then if I take my history brush and I paint over my art history it's basically going to take it back where it was at default so the art history brush erases or will undo what you did in the art history brush so if I want to remove this and make it all look normal again all I have to do is take the art history brush and paint over it and then I can start again so I can come here, I can go back to the art history brush, I can change all this information, I can make my brush a little bit smaller, and then I'm going to have more of a finite brush as far as when I go and paint. And you'll just kind of go in there and do this throughout your image. So here's one that I just did real quick. So I sort of went in and it kind of gives you this painterly effect on this image. So we have another one over here. So this is a flower. So I've actually created a snapshot here on my other screen. So this is what this image looked like before. And then after using the art history brush, it looks like that. So if I want to undo something in an image that I did, I can come in here, I can use the history brush, paint on that, and then that's back to its original state. And then I can come back in with the art history brush and paint that back in, but I'm just gonna leave it the way it was. So that is basically how you use the art history brush and the history brush in Adobe Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Any comments or questions, you can leave those below, and don't forget to subscribe.